Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today to talk about a serious discussion and the way our culture is going. It's a little scary. Um, if you really look, I've been paying attention and I've been noticing more and more influencers, YouTube influencers such as Queen Nija, um, someone I follow, I used to follow, but as being a 27 year old woman, I'm starting to really kind of push away from certain people that I follow because you have to be very careful of who is influencing your mind and filling your mind up with um, certain things. And I've been noticing that it's just been a trend and it's becoming part of our culture to get plastic surgery. Um, you know, when I was younger, plastic surgery was really a taboo. It was a taboo. People really didn't get plastic surgery like that. And if they did, it was not talked about. It was not fantasized. It was not glorized. I mean, it wasn't glamorized um, and glorified, you know. Um, most people in Hollywood did get plastic surgery, but you didn't really know about it. I mean, the boob job was one of the most popular things. Um, and a little bit of lipo here and there, especially if you were older. Um, now, plastic surgery, it's not that I'm so, so against plastic surgery because I know that other people probably need plastic surgery if they lost weight and they have extra skin and they're carrying around all this extra weight. I am totally for that, you know, like that is more so a medical procedure. That is more so not a, um, you know, a, I don't know. It's, it's a little different for me because if somebody was overweight and they lost and they, a lot of weight and they had all this extra skin that's weighing them down that's affecting their health that is a different reason it is more a medical procedure than something that is um you know just because you have self-esteem issues um you know and, and most people who got the lip injections and were and the face fillers were you know older white women in in la um very wealthy women with the big box lips and the boobs and looking crazy like that was a stereotype for plastic surgery but now I'm noticing that 22 year olds are getting face um, fillers and you know lip fillers and it's just becoming so normalized it's a little scary to know that my son is growing up into this world where people are not looking like how they originally look and at the end of the day when you have children like they are going what is that how are you going to teach your child about self-love and to love themselves but at the same breath we all have this culture of if you don't like something change it who am i to judge maybe there do, does need to be a person that stepped in and say hey i think we're turning into a wrong direction what happened to the self-love generation and promoting that instead of Oh, I want a bigger butt because, you know, I want the male attention like the other Instagram models. And somebody made a YouTube video like, yes, you see these Instagram models being glorified. You see them being praised. You see them getting all this opportunity for clothing and everything. But it's not many of them that are married. So what does that say? I mean, a lot of women, you know, they say, oh, I do it for myself. Like, are you doing it for yourself? Because if you were doing it for yourself, then why do you say in the same sentence, I do it for myself so I can look good on the ground? Well, how do you know you look good on the ground? Oh, because you're getting that male attention and you're getting that attention from people to justify you and give you the likes that you want and that makes you feel good because you know, we live in a day of social media where people are, you know, basing off their self-worth off of how many likes they get. And I'm guilty of that too. Like, I don't have a big following on Instagram and I am always nervous to post because I don't know, you know, I'm still learning Instagram and I don't know what's, what's in, what's not in. And I don't want to post anything that is not of myself, but I also want to post something that can generate, you know, some likes. And if you only get a certain amount of likes, that makes anybody feel like, wow, like, why didn't they not like my picture? But then you go and scroll and see another picture that's not as, you know, artsy or nice and they have a whole bunch of likes. So then you kind of look at yourself like, well, what's wrong with me? It's horrible to think that way. 
but that's very true if you post a picture and it gets zero likes within an hour you are going to delete that picture and sometimes it has something to do with the algorithm but at the end of the day people are basing off their looks because of instagram models because of what's in and it's scary because a lot of these clothing lines like um pretty little things and um um fashion nova are now making and shaping their clothes for women with tiny 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 waist and huge wide hips and regular women like myself who order these um clothings like regular women you know regular size women who order these clothings they're not fitting right and then we feel like well maybe it's something wrong with my body no it's not we're we're starting it's more and more women who are advertising you know these type of bodies where we feel like our clothing brands going going to start dedicating the big boobs and big butt and small waist the clothing lines only and it's going to be like pulling teeth trying to find the right size for women who are pear shape uh square shape women who are i don't know like just different shapes you know like it's gonna be very hard for women who have bigger boobs and a smaller you know a smaller butt area or women who have a bigger butt area and smaller boobs like is that going to be something that's going to be even more of a challenge now that we have this idea that just if you don't like something if you don't look like the next person go get it done and what's scary is this these surgeries are not something that is like a oh i just jump in and i jump out like you can die things can go wrong and there are certain medications that like violum i think it's violum or balum or something like that where you get the bbl and it gives you nightmares like what does that say spiritually that you're taking these pain medications because you choose to go under the knife because you're not grateful for the shape that you have and there's women who have a phenomenal shape and still feel like they need to go under the knife and transfer fat like women in their 20s like girl girls what are you doing like you're 20 something if you're under the age of 40 and you're getting a bbl like getting the fat and putting it somewhere else i don't care if it came from your body or not it is not natural it is not natural to take something that doesn't normally grow as wide when you gain weight to take something from a certain part of your body and stuff it and kill your and kill certain cells by stuffing fat that came from your stomach to your butt because those that fat is it's growing obviously in a different place than your stomach so that's not natural nothing about that is natural and the fact that that's being advertised as natural like what are we saying to people oh, as long as it came from my body it's okay no it's not okay and like i said if you're under the age of 40 get your ass in the gym and start working out it is easier said than done trust and believe like i want to go like i had a kid guys my stomach is not the same i haven't put on a bathing suit since i had my kid i think i put on a bathing suit once since i had my kid once since i had my child because i've been very insecure about my cesarean scar that was left and the extra skin that i have and a lot of people don't know about it like and this summer i am dedicated enough to put on a bathing suit and hopefully I can probably show you guys how I look in a bathing suit you know for the first time after having a kid three years ago almost four years ago like I understand it is nerve-wracking when you compare yourself and you look at certain scars and then you see this perfect body on Instagram and you're like I'm definitely not gonna get any likes like I my pudge is a little bit bigger and my butt doesn't stick out as much compared to the ratio of my stomach and my boobs are not as perky as this person's and that's what makes you different and you have to understand that perfection does not make you happy you have to understand that you can be beautiful and a man still won't treat you right you can be beautiful and you still won't get that job you can be beautiful and you still won't get those certain opportunities that other people have because it takes more than looks it takes personality it takes self-esteem 
It takes self-love and self-belief that you can do these things. And you allow certain people to treat you the way you want to be treated. So if you feel like you're not being treated right, then you need to take that person and remove them from your life. If they're not treating you how you feel you should be treated, it's not because of how you look. And if, the, if you're talking to a guy who left you for an, uh, uh, um, or cheated on you with a woman with a bare butt, that doesn't say anything about you. That says more about him. Men will chase anything that has in, uh, woman parts between their legs, pretty much. It doesn't matter if she has a big butt, doesn't matter if she has big boobs and a small butt. If he wants to cheat, he's going to cheat. Not because of something that he sexualized or fetishized about. Because you get these women who sexualize themselves all the time and then they say their DMs are dry or nobody's trying to wipe them. Well, what are you advertising? Are you advertising this sexual body? The then that's what you're putting on the market. And that's what guys are gonna be attracted to, your body. Not your personality, not your face, not any of that. They'll create this whole illusion about who you are. And then when they really get to know you, they don't actually like your personality or their expectations of, oh, she's this type of girl and you're really not. And you show this, them this vulnerable side of yourself and they're not accepting of that because you market it to be something that you're not. You're really probably insecure. You're probably really, you know, nervous and scared about life or don't have your life together, and which is fine. But when you flaunt certain things online, especially your body, men just have it in their mind like either I'm going to have sex with her, either she's easy or she's a trophy girl that I can show my friends off to that I'm smashing. Not man, I'm gonna wipe this girl. Most men that are married, look at their wives. Look at their wives. Most men, black men, white men, whatever, look at their wives. You only see the ballers and certain athletes gal these type of girls. And then if you really think about it, look at Chris Brown. He was with a girl like Karuchi. Her body is natural. She has small boobs, a small butt, a small waist. And guess what? He went out and got a woman that looked exactly like that. He didn't get no big booty woman with these big boobs and this wide waist and this, you know, wide hips and small waist. Like, it's better when you earned it. It feels so good when you go to the gym and not only going to the gym to, you know, make your body look great, but going to the gym is also a mental health thing. You know, you start to feel better mentally when you're going to the gym and you're working out and you're putting the work in for yourself. That's called self-love, self-care. And that's why a lot of people go to the gym because of anxiety, because of restlessness. You get better sleep, your skin feels better, you feel better, you have more energy. I mean, your mental health is better. Like it's so much more to go to the gym than to be lazy and sit back and say, I don't want to go to the gym. I'm gaining weight. Let me just go and suck this fat out. Let me go get put under, you know, go to sleep, risk of getting blood clots, risk of dying, you know, while I'm getting this surgery done and suck this fat out and then plump it somewhere else and suck the fat out of my leg so I can have this fake gap and then put it somewhere else as well. And guess what, ladies? When you get that man and you get pregnant, most of the women, if you ever, ever pay attention, who's had that BBL done, their butt looks ridiculous. Their hips look ridiculous when they get pregnant. Because guess what? You have to gain weight when you're pregnant. Their butt looks start to look like an ant. If it wasn't looking like an ant before, it looks like an ant indefinitely after having a kid. Look at Khloe Kardashian after she had her baby. She looked like a ant, an ant. People were disgusted by her butt because it looked so abnormal. Black China, after she had her surgery, she had to take fat out of her butt because guess what? That fat that they transferred in your butt stays there on top of the fat from the baby weight. So you're gaining all this unnatural, you're un gaining all this natural weight from the baby weight on top of the unnatural fat that you implanted in your butt and then now your body is looking botched and not everybody has the money to go and get the fat out and reduce and get this whole new thing going like you got to keep up with this look and hitting the gym 
trying to get like that fake fat together like you got to keep up with that if you weren't going to gym if you weren't going to the gym before um yeah if you weren't going to the gym before and then you get all this stuff done and you don't you're not most likely not going to go to the gym after and keep that up because you already have this lazy mindset that you need to go and surgically get something done to look a certain way instead of working hard in the gym and appreciating your natural body and accepting who your body is because if somebody truly loves you and if somebody you want to attract you want to send that type of energy out to attract somebody that's going to love you for who you who you are inside and out naturally now i'm you know, I've, I've been hearing a lot of people say, you know, you would get plastic surgery if you had the money to do it. Why should money change me, who I am? Why should, when I get money, I should automatically start fixing flaws that I don't like about myself? Why should money change that? That's why people get all this money and they look in the mirror at the end of the day and they don't see themselves. And they're not happy with themselves. They don't even know who they are anymore. Well, for one, starting for one, you look in the mirror, you don't even notice who you are anymore. And it's disgusting when you really think about it. This face that you grew up with and you look, and you, you saw growing up and you look like your parents or you look like somebody that, you know, one of your parents or your siblings. And then you look in the mirror and you don't recognize who that person is. It's very scary. I remember even having contacts. I used to wear color contacts all the time. And one day I looked in the mirror and they were like gray contacts. And I'm not against contacts, but it was just for some reason, I looked in the mirror and I said, I need to take these out because I don't know who I'm staring at. I don't, I, I feel weird. Even when I'm wearing weave too, for too long, I wore weave for like back to back for like a year straight, you know, without wearing my real hair. And I looked, I started to look in the mirror and I didn't like who I was seeing because I couldn't see myself. So I took the weave out and look, I have hair. I have a lot of hair and I'm grateful for it. I've been wearing it. And that's not to say that I'm not gonna wear weave, but sometimes my goal is if I can wake up and look at myself with no makeup on and my natural hair all over my head and look at myself with a you know, fresh washed face and glowing and say, wow, you look beautiful. It is the best feeling in the world and it literally chokes me up sometimes because there's the longest I would not look at myself in the mirror. And I don't think, if I think if I was younger and growing up in this generation where plastic surgery is so glamorized and advertised and, you know, fetishized, I, would not have this mindset of wanting to look at myself in the mirror and accepting who I am makeup free. Do I have flaws? Yes. Do I wish I had more clear skin? Yes. Do I wish my hair was longer at times? Yes. But guess what I'm doing? I'm taking the precautions and measurements of clearing my skin. I'm taking the precautions and measurements of growing healthy hair because it will pay off at the end. If it comes easy, it goes easy. And it doesn't fix how you feel on the inside. And this medicine that people are taking and they're swollen from the surgery and the pain medications and they're suffering and they feel like they're about to die and they're throwing up and they're just, they're just like, who was it? Winter from Bad Girls Club? She's like documenting her BBL and it's like a trend now to document a BBO. Why is that now a trend? Because guess what? People want to see how the procedure is done so they can get it done. So you can look at that person and say, well, they're alive. I'll be alive too. That doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean that something won't go wrong. That doesn't mean your body will react would react a certain way. We don't know what these BBLs will do in the future. We, this is probably what, not even 20 years in? We haven't even seen what these butts are going to do within 20, 30 years from now when you're older and you're carrying around this diaper 
butt and it drops because of gravity because at the end of the day you can't stop yourself from aging you can only embrace your aging and love yourself and be a beautiful older woman or a man that's all you can do is love yourself because if you don't love yourself how do you expect anybody else to love you they're only going to love the outside of you and the materialistic side of you but they're not going to love you for you and guess what they're going to go and find somebody else that looks just like you because there's so many women out there that are getting these types of butts and they get glamorized when you go out to the club and it depends where your environment is because i don't go out to the club a lot so i don't really feel any type of way when i see that but when i do go out i do notice that the women with the big butts are going around but guess what guys when you go out to the club men are not saying Whew, i'm gonna i'm gonna wipe that girl one day i got all this money she's gonna be my girl no he wants to have sex with you he wants to show you off to his friends that he can grab a girl that looks like that because that makes his self-esteem feels better so you got two people with two with low self-esteem i'm not saying you can't find the right person in the club let me know in the comments below if you ever have but most guys i've met in the club they're going off of that moment and that time and that enjoyment and probably keep you around you know talking for a little bit depending on how they met you depending on what you were wearing as well and depending on what you were doing and how drunk you were so i guess it just kind of depends on the situation but don't envy those other girls you don't need that type of attention from those type of guys if you you don't because at the end of the day that guy could mess that whole woman's life up okay carrying stuff you don't even know he's probably carrying demons he's carrying don't even know spiritually what that is everybody wants to feel special i think that's what it is everybody wants to feel special everybody wants to feel wanted everybody wants to feel validated but getting bigger boobs and a bigger butt and, and botching up your face is not going to change that because you're always going to have in the back of your mind would i have this person if i look like myself so then you can't feel like yourself because you're not yourself and you don't look like yourself i hope this is I hope this encourages other young girls to know that just because you know these women are getting these procedures done doesn't make you any less doesn't make shouldn't make you feel like you should change yourself because of this and to go to the gym work out understand that your body you're not going to be in your 20s forever embrace those 20s as long as you can embrace it go to the gym work out get your body together there's women who are older than you that are going to the gym getting their body together and uh, feeling good mentally and physically and eating better and going vegan and uh, you know going plant-based you know eating a lot of greens and fruits and vegetables and meditation and drinking your teas that's gonna make you feel good spiritually and physically so I hope this video helps encourage anyone who is feeling like they need to get surgery or they want to get surgery or they're not understanding or they're feeling bad about posting certain pictures and not getting likes because I know plenty of women who are just themselves and they're more talented than just their looks and they have much more to bring to the table than their looks and I really hope this helps. I really, if you know somebody who's struggling with self-esteem issues or want to change something about this themselves, send this video to them do right and spread this message that the plastic surgery culture is very toxic to our young ones to women and to our youth and that we need to wake up and be aware of what we are transitioning into we're already transitioning into ai's by having our cell phones attached to us 24 7 and now we are changing our bodies to look an unnatural type of way than how we were born so if you enjoyed this video give it a likes up and thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks bye god bless